The current surge has forced one Motherlode Middle School to temporarily shut down and return to distance learning. Calaveras Unified School District notified parents that students will go back to independent learning for the rest of the week. Fox 40's Christy Gross talked to the district, which says this decision was a last resort. We've had staff shortages all year long. Uh, this just exacerbated it uh, to a significant uh, degree. Toyon Middle School in Valley Springs is temporarily going back to virtual learning. The long and the short of it is we did not have the, the teaching staff nor the operational staff keep the school open in a healthy and safe manner. Calaveras Unified School District Superintendent Mark Campbell says the district is grappling with the COVID Omicron variant surge. Since we've been back from winter break, which was last Monday, uh, we, we saw a spike in positive cases with our students uh, and obviously a spike with our staff, both in terms of positive cases, but also staff impacted, students impacted, uh, having to quarantine. The campus will be closed Wednesday through Friday. Sixth, seventh, and eighth grade students will instead log on for independent study with the hope of returning to class Monday. Campbell says the decision was a last resort. This is exhausting all other options because we want our students back on campus. Well, right now it's just Toyon Middle School. The entire district has been struggling with staffing all year. Even with Toyon shifting, you still project anywhere from 11 to 19 teaching positions that we'll have to fill and, and we're able to fill all but seven to nine of them. This means even with all hands on deck, they're still short. Certificated district administrators are, are having to fill in and cover classes uh, and that, that includes, includes myself. Uh, we're having to have our site administrators cover classes as well. Uh, and we're also having teachers who will teach during their prep or or they will accept students from from another class into their class. The district says they're waiting on the state to approve the three day shift to independent virtual learning as instructional days. We still need the state to recognize that uh, and the state to fund us for these days. Otherwise, we're going to have to make up these days at the end of the year. Christy Gross, Fox 40 News. The district says it will reassess at the end of the week and make a final determination on if students will be able to return to in-person learning on Monday.